So while everybody's currently hyped over the new decks from Cyberstorm Access, I feel like most players are forgetting about one small little detail. Basically, Kashira is pretty much guaranteed to remain the next best deck if it survives the ban list or if there is no ban list at all. And I'm saying that because we still have two YCSs in May, so YCS Chile as well as Philadelphia, and then after that we have Nats format. And now you might be thinking, but Yaksai, why not forget about Kashira and start playing purely and super heavy samurai right now? And you definitely can, but the issue is I don't believe they're any better than Kashtira. At the current moment, you can argue that a lot of non-Kashtira decks, especially Nature, Runic, and Sprite, are having a lot of success, and that is mostly due to the fact that a lot of players are main decking hate for Kashtira specifically. People are bullying the crap out of Kashtira and even going as far as, you know, main decking cards like Book of Eclipse and Kurikara or Kaijus, Lava Golem, etc. But honestly, I'm not too sure this is going to keep happening because now we also have to take into account the newer decks. Like, are you really going to keep main decking Book of Eclipse with Purely and Super Heavy Samurai around? That card doesn't do that much against them. Now, because of the fact that Super Heavy Samurai only plays monsters and not any spells or traps, they have to rely on Kaijus and Hand Shops to beat Kashtira. So in game 1, they're probably going to struggle a lot against Shangri-La blocking a pen scale and a Rise Heart staying there. I'm saying that assuming that you're not good enough to the point where you're drawing a Kaiju on top of full combo and an extender. Now, Purely definitely can play the cards needed to beat Kashtira, but it's definitely going to start losing to the other decks too. Let's just say you go with board breakers instead of hand shops. You'll have a great time against Kashtira, absolutely. The only issue is you're gonna start losing 85% of your games going second against Super Heavy Samurai FTK now. That deck is pretty cancer because it forces you to play hand shops because of course you can't play board breakers if you can't even use them since you're getting freaking FTK'd. And hand shops aren't particularly good against Kashtira and Sprite to be honest. Kashtira doesn't really have any choke points. I feel like most hand shops are really just one for one trades. For example, what if you Veiler my Unicorn? Okay, I'm talented at the game and I hard you the Theosis. And Ghost Ogre doesn't really do anything against Kashtira either because they can have Birth to rely back the monster or they can still full combo without having to use Birth. And Jewel is 50-50 against Kashtira, it really depends. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it does nothing. And Nibiru is super situational based on the context because some players triple out a Rise Heart in 4 summons. And another issue about Nibiru is that it practically has like no overlap because it's really, really bad against Super Heavy Samurai, Sprite, and also good purely players. And Kashtira is that kind of deck that can adapt itself to pretty much any given format by playing the utility cards that it needs to win. It can run the runic engine for more draws or utility for going second or whatever. Or it can run the Brave Token engine for an Omni Negate and also a bounce. Or it can just say screw that and play pure Kashtira and play a lot of hand shafts or board breakers, whatever makes you happy. Honestly, when I look at Cyberstorm access, I don't really see like a savior or like a hero or anything. I really just see how it makes the format even worse. An already diverse format is about to be even more diverse, but not in a really good way. So the competitive players are definitely going to be mad, but the casual players are going to be mad too. Again, exactly like I said, you have to worry about big boards that you can't necessarily deal with using just hand shops, and you can't really rely on board breakers because that makes you start losing to FTKs now. Last format, at least the FTK wasn't a thing, so at least you could argue that board breakers were good and the format wasn't too bad. So honestly, it's just another one of your pick your poison formats where you either choose to play hand shops or board breakers and you always lose to something regardless of the decision that you make. And of course, you are absolutely not free to play whatever makes you happy because your deck has to function consistently under something like Shifter or Rise Art. And also, your deck needs to be consistent enough to be able to play those utility cards as well as potentially be able to play with one or two cards only. This seriously narrows down the amount of viable option that you may have, and sometimes you might have to play a deck that you don't really like just to have some good success. Now, this format, of course, won't last long because it's pretty much a guarantee that we're going to be getting a ban list either after the YCSs or maybe right before. So yeah, worst case scenario, we enjoy this format for like maximum a month and then the game should become a little better after. But again, that's assuming that Kashtira and all the other decks die so that we can start focusing on the new decks. But yeah, at the current moment, enjoy making really unreasonable concessions. Anyways, that's all I had for this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.